So for the continuation of mean mode median, it will be the cumulative frequency and frequency density diagram. Right? So this question is actually uh, link, okay, and each of the colors represent different things. Okay, so for the first one, you're required to plot down all the points that have gotten earlier and then draw this line over here. So as usual, it cannot be drawn using a ruler. It cannot be uh, like dotted line joining it up. It must be a firm line, freehand drawing. So for the first one, we have median over there, which is represented using the blue line. Okay, so what I did was to take 400 times 50%, I get 200. So from the cumulative frequency diagram, you trace it back, your results should be 70 minutes 40 median value. Whereby for 30th percentile, okay, I draw it using the yellow line over there. Okay, I took 400 times 30%, I get 120. So from 120, I trace it back down, I get the value from the graph as 62.7 minutes. Whereby for the next one, it will be into quarter range. Okay, I use the green line and red line to represent it. Okay, so 400 times 75%, I get 300 and 400 times 25 percent i get 100 so the 300 value will get you 80 and the 25 percent value will get you 61 so the difference will be 19 minutes right so for the last part which is the star question that always appeared when they try to ask this question okay the keyword is actually hidden in the numbers of people who took more than 91 minutes so from 91 minutes you're required to draw it back up okay reverse it then you will get 350 people okay but they want the group that is more than that so you're required to take the total frequency of 400 minus 350 then you get 50 so there will be 50 people that took more than 91 minutes to complete the half marathon. For the next one, using the same group of data, okay, you're required to draw the frequency density diagram. Okay, so the first one will be the simpler one, which there's no skill factor involved. Sometimes the question will give you uh, a preset, like they draw one of the group for you already. So you're required to run the calculation to double check is there a skill factor involvement. Okay, so for example, if they gave you the first group here, 23 over 5, it is 4.6. You trace it back, there's no issue. Then you just proceed with the calculation for the rest of the group. Okay, let's say we have 64 divided by 10, we get 6.4. We have 122 divided by 10, we get 12.2. We have 136 divided by 20, we get 6.8. We have 26 divided by 10, we get 2.6. And we have the last group, which is 29 divided by 20, equals to 1.45. So for the next graph here, for the same group of data, okay, so they gave you the first one here, okay, the frequency density value is 23. So as usual, you run the calculation and first, you will get 23 divided by 5 is actually 4.6. So it is not possible for you to draw 4.6 as 23, which directly represent that there's a scale factor involvement. Okay, you retrace it, okay, shift the 4.6 times unknown equals to 23, unknown equals to 23 divided by 4.6, which is equivalent to 5. Okay, then you will know there's a scale factor of 5 involved over there. Okay, so for the rest of the calculation, you're required to multiply all the frequency density value that you've gotten using frequency divided by class interval 
then you're required to multiply 5 into it to get the respective value as 32, 61, 34, 13, and 7.25. Okay, so this will be it for the mean mode median chapter. Okay, I hope you find this helpful.